John Chow here from johnchow.com. Hey, welcome to Driving with John Chow. I'm setting up my driving video a little differently today. Uh, as you can see, uh, I moved the camera uh, in front of me, and you also can see the, the top on this Jaguar is up. And the reason it's, it's up is because, well, it's, uh, it's 102 degrees outside. It's, it's too hot. It's too hot. And mind you, I like the heat, but when it gets above 90, above 90, I generally, <laughs> that's my limit. I, the top goes up, the AC goes on. So, so there you go. Uh, and the reason why I'm positioning the camera this way is because if I position it the way it normally would be with the top up, uh, I would show up dark and it would just show the window here and it'll be very, very bright and it wouldn't look good. So I figure I will move it here. We're just shining at, at me. And so therefore I'll be in, in the, You'll be able to see me and to be extra bright just on the glass and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, let me, let me know what you, what you think about that. Uh, my topic today. I want to, I guess, follow up on what I talked about yesterday about the odds of success. And this is kind of carries a bit into it. And, you know, besides the question of, you know, what my odds of success, a very common question. Another question I get is like, uh, how much does it cost? for me to succeed. It's a variation of something like that. Like uh, uh, $49 for ultimate dot com lifestyle. Is that all I have to pay? I just pay that and then I get money, right? That that's believe it or not, that is that's a question I get. Or like, you know, if I buy blogging with John Chow or I buy any of your product, that's all I have to buy. I don't have to buy anything else, right? Or if I sign up for mobile, I don't have to sign up, I just gotta pay the application fee then and, and then that's it, right? So that, that common question, common question. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna answer this question with uh, a scenario or another question, I suppose. And that is, let, let's imagine, you know, you're you're going to buy a McDonald's franchise. Right? You're going to McDonald's, you're going to interview them, you interview them, you're going to want to buy a McDonald's franchise, and you say to the uh, I guess the franchisor, and you ask them like, yeah, okay, it costs a million dollars to start this McDonald's. I want to know that I'm just going to give you the million dollars, this McDonald's will be started, and then I make money, right? That, that's, all I have to, that's all I have to spend, right? That's it. Nothing else, right? Right? What do you think the franchisor will say when you, if you will question like that? Well, if he hasn't laughed his head off, he's probably thrown you out the door already, right? Let's, let's just face it, right? Uh, the question of how much does it cost for success? I mean, to, again, this goes back to that lottery men mentality or that gambling mentality. They figure, you know, put the money there and money, I'm going to get the money. I'm going to buy the course, going to get the money. Uh, work, what's that? You, know, you mean I have to actually do some marketing? You mean there's, 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 every year I have to renew my business license? You mean I have to, like, suddenly those kind of stuff like... Uh, you know, what do you think I'm trying to teach you here? I'm trying to teach you how to start an online business. I'm not trying to teach you how to win a lottery ticket. Right? And look, just look around you. Any business, real, you know, virtual businesses, real businesses, bricks and mortar businesses. How many businesses do you know where the business owner, you know, just go, I'm going to, here's my money, put it up. Now, there we go. I don't do anything. Money's just going to come in. How many business, real businesses, do you know that actually has started and are successful that way? Zero, none. It doesn't exist. It, I mean, it doesn't exist. But yet, online, people. This is what people expect online. I mean, they they come in and go, yeah, I want to start a blog. Here's my ten bucks or whatever it costs to start a blog, and now I'm gonna make the money. I don't do anything else. I'm not, no writing blog posts. No, whatever. we just expect the money to come in. Not it, right? So when you ask me, uh, what's the price of, uh, how much does it cost to succeed? It's not, it's not a one-time cost. This is a business. All businesses, every business, online, offline, all businesses have ongoing costs. Web hosting costs, email hosting costs, uh, lead pages, all, all these, these ongoing costs. But here's the key difference. When you compare the startup costs and the ongoing costs, of an online business versus the startup cost 
and ongoing costs of a regular bricks and mortars business, like those businesses out there, the difference is tremendous. Like it's huge. It's totally, it's crazy. Right? So, and I suppose that's both good and bad because, you know, it's great because, you know, it allows everyone, if they want, to start an online business, to start an online business because, you know, it's, it's, it's so cheap. I mean, yeah, I said my blog was started for the cost of a domain name, 10 bucks. And the ongoing cost when I first started was basically web posting every month, like things like five bucks a month. Right? So, you know, it could, minuscule, almost like impulse stuff. Right? You compare that to starting a Subway or a McDonald's or a Starbucks, you know, where their costs get into hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars, and the ongoing cost is in the tens of thousands. You got rent, employee, all that stuff. And you compare that to an online business that could be started for ten dollars and and monthly web hosting. Now, now remind you, it costs more than five bucks a month to run my blog. Now I, I'm, a, I'm a, I have two dedicated servers and my email list is like fifteen hundred bucks a month just to maintain and stuff. But still, when you add up the online cost, it is still way way less than any bricks and mortars business. Like uh, I like to make the comparison of myself to a Starbucks. You know, uh, the average Starbucks are seven hundred fifty thousand dollars a year in sales and that's the average Starbucks right I will do that in two months right and my monthly operating cost is nowhere even one one hundredth what a Starbucks cost to run right? so uh, but like I said because of the low startup cost it's a, it's a wolf of blessing and a curse the blessing of course is that a lot of people can enter the curse is that because it is so inexpensive to start most people don't take it seriously. They just don't take it seriously. Easy in, easy out. They be, oh, yeah, I'll try this. I, you know, John Shaw is making money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a blog. Give it a shot. You know, it only costs ten bucks for domain name, five bucks for web hosting. I'll give it a try. So they start it up, and you know, then then that's it. They they expecting some magic money to come out of thin air because they build it. You know, they have, they you know they watch the movie. If you build it, they will come, and then nobody comes. They don't make any money. They blame me. Say John doesn't know what he's talking about, and they quit. Because you know, you know, you're out a few bucks, right? So it's okay. It's not like it's not like you invested a million dollars to McDonald's. Because if you did that, you would be a lot more serious about making sure it succeeds because you have so much money tied up into it. But yet, on online online business, because you have so little money, they don't take it seriously. They don't take it seriously. Yet, like I said, in two months, in two months, I will do what a Starbucks does in one full year. Right? If you and the reason I'm successful is because I apply the same mindset I, of me investing a million dollars in my business. I run it like I invested a lot of money into my business. So as a result, I take it extremely seriously. Right? So that's what you got to do. Take the business seriously. And la lastly, just be consistent at this. All right? So, you know, the... Yeah, you can email me how much it costs to succeed. How much, so I guess I really haven't answered the question. How much does it cost to succeed? And the answer to that question is A, it is not a one-time cost. It is the business. Businesses have startup costs and businesses have ongoing costs. But because it's online, the ongoing costs and the startup costs is infinite times less than a regular bricks and mortars business. So if you decide to start an online business, you know, because it's inexpensive, that's great. But start your online business, but treat it like a bricks and mortars business that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to start. Therefore, your mindset is different and your thinking is different. If you can just get into the mindset that, you know, I'm treating this like a real business, like I invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into this business, you will be amazed. Your thinking is totally different. So ask yourself, you know, would I run it this way if I sent a million bucks into it. Like, you know, most people don't think that way. So as a result, they go, oh, only ah, a few bucks. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. If you sent a million bucks into it, would you do it tomorrow? No, you wouldn't, right? So I hope to help you guys out. Uh, you know, startup costs, ongoing costs. It's required for every single business. But, uh, you know, just, just do it. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, <laughs> There's a car right here, and it's kind of like his blinkers on, so I gotta 
be careful and you know I do got play safe and stuff all right we're good we're good <laughs> okay so uh hope that helps you guys uh, I welcome your feedback uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the episode let me know about this uh, new camera angle like I said the reason I did it was because you know just lighting and stuff lighting is always hard to control so that's the worst thing anyway uh, johnshop johnshop.com thank you for listening subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys on the next episode